Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it seems as if the Endermen, as a population, know what's going on. I say this because <laughs> I have three soon-to-be four Ender backpacks. Now, I didn't get these the traditional way. I didn't. I found these in my forest, just chilling on the ground. If you, if you don't believe me, let me show you something. I was literally, just right now, I was talking to these guys, We're, I'm on the populated server right now. We got generic, Paul, B-dubs, Gliss, Jeez, everybody's online. Um, and I was telling them, I said, hey, anybody know how to, um, uh, where is it? Uh, I don't remember. Oh, anybody know how to pick up an ender backpack like an item? Uh, B-dubs is like, try Soak Touch, so I tried Soak Touch. I wanted to grab these, pick these up and try and throw some chance on them like you can the normal backpacks. Every time you break them, they teleport away. Um, so I couldn't really do it. So anyways, I was out here um, just experimenting and, uh, and, and stuff, and I found another one! I found another backpack! And it was in, the, it's in the water! Right here, let me get my, let me get some light, because it's dark now, of course. Start recording and it's, it's dark. There's another Ender backpack, just chilling in the water. Now I know this, these don't belong to anybody on the server, because, um, I asked. <laughs> I said, "Does anybody leave their, does anybody leave their backpacks in, uh, in my, in my woods?" And nobody did. This is the fourth one that I found. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Of course, there's nothing in it because I don't have anything in, in my other ones. The only way to collect these is to take, take them off your back, uh, or take your chest plate off, get them on your back, and then go in your, uh, in your house and place them down. Um, but I couldn't believe it. I, I, I couldn't believe it. I was playing yesterday, and I found three of them just sitting out in the in the open. Another weird thing that that seemed to happen was um, generic found a. Come on, go down on the floor. Would you? Would you? Why? Why won't it come off my back? Ugh, what's happening? Wait, it's not there anymore. <gasps> what happened? Uh, another weird thing that that um, let's see. Another weird thing that happened was uh, generic found a um, an ender chest just randomly sitting out in an ominous woods biome, and somebody else found one too. Sorry, I'm like really distracted. Where did that go? Was that a fake? Was that a fake? Oh, uh, I bet it was a fake. Gosh, dang it. Maybe maybe it was a fake. What? <laughs> no, I wanted a fourth backpack. Come on now. Now I'm gonna be looking for another one. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay, well that was weird. That was really bizarre. Anyways, uh, something fishy's going on. Um, because, um... I now have three of these. Generic found uh, ender chest in, his, in some ominous woods near his place. Some other guys found uh, an ender chest. Um, so there's some bizarre stuff going on with the Enderman. I personally am of the theory that the Enderman, they know how to show respect to the Dark Lord, you know what I'm saying? They come to my woods and they're like, here sir, we would like you to have our backpacks. And then they place them on the ground. Uh, <laughs> so anyways, wanted to update you guys on that. Okay, real quick, I wanna show you guys this. Um, and then, today we're going to go on an adventure. I wanna go and really sort of explore biomes of plenty and explore some new biomes. I talked about this a couple episodes ago, how I wanted to go, you know, do an exploration episode. So we're gonna be doing that today, but, um, I added a new wing onto the tower last night. Um, if you want to know where it is, the snake's mouth is right here. We've got, this is the east wing of my tower. And um, it's not super large or anything, but um, it's a nice uh, nice sized little room here. And uh, I've got like a, a little plate of food over here with, uh, what did I put in here I think? I put um, pasta, cooked carrots, and fish and chips. Um, so yeah, I'm not exactly sure what this room is going to be used for yet. I have some ideas for different wings of the tower. One is going to be necromancy, one is possibly going to be an armory, and the other one might be come, uh, might become a kitchen. Um, so, I'm expanding my tower basically, making it uh, a little bit bigger, making more rooms in it and everything. Um, so I don't know which one this is going to be yet, we'll, we'll see, but um, just sort of started some like, you know, minor decorations and stuff like that. Uh, in here. So anyways, um, that is that you guys and uh, man, I'm really disappointed about that fourth backpack Dang it. I really want it to be over here. Is it still? I, you know, I think I'm gonna relog and just double check just to make sure 
So uh, we'll be right back. If it's not there, then we'll get started on our adventure. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the flight of the bat. <laughs> now, I've seen some comments before people say, Chimney, quit flying with your broom as a bat. Use it as a person. Um, no, I run into some risks with that because if I were to accidentally dismount, I would take extreme amounts of fall damage falling off my broom. I don't take fall damage when I'm a bat. Um, so that's, that's the good news. Um, so we're on the broom today, uh, which is great because this thing goes, um, goes much faster than a, uh, this thing goes much faster than I would fly normally. And I'm looking for a couple things, okay? We're looking for structures. Um, we're going to be looking for, uh, possibly at the bottom of the oceans, uh, salt, uh, salt ore, which is something I haven't found yet, but I think is still in our mod pack. It's from the Food Plus mod, and, uh, you need it, uh, you need salt in order to make a couple things. And I've also made an item here, I don't really know how this works specifically, it's called a Golden Eye. And it works as, sort of the same, I think, as like an Eye of Ender. Um, but uh, it works sort of like an Iron Ender, but it's made for finding structures, I guess, like dungeons and, um, uh, you know, uh, desert temples and, and strong, or not strongholds, but um, uh, jungle temples and stuff like that. I can't think today. Um, and there's a durability bar down here, but I'm not exactly sure how it works. I don't know if that gets stronger the closer you are to a structure or what. I'm not 100% sure, but what we are gonna be doing today is holy smokes that was a little bit of lag there um we're gonna be flying around and just exploring some different terrains um exploring some different things um and hopefully finding some cool stuff like this these here these are eucalyptus woods um uh, these are really cool i have a couple saplings so i i'm not gonna i'm gonna try not to like you know um go all out in the collecting if i already have some of the stuff because I do have limited inventory space. Hello, Creeper. Thank you for the heart. Ah, yes. That's another good thing to get as well. Um, so on the map, ooh, this is a pretty place over here. On the map, I am um, over here. My house is right here, so we're not that far away. The episode that I went swimming, um, trying to find the kelp, which I still would like to find as well, I sort of went down and around through here. Um, this is gl glitched, like there's a glitch thingy here. This map mod is a little glitched at times, but um, there's some land down here that I want to explore as well. Probably won't get to all of this today, gonna be perfectly honest with you guys. What kind of biome is this? Extreme hills, okay, there's gonna be some emeralds here too, but I don't feel like going underground and finding them. Um, but, uh, <laughs> it just wrote the fourth wall, or backpack. <laughs> I was telling him my, the, the backpack, the fourth backpack was a scam, it was fake. It was totally fake. Um, so yeah, we'll just fly around today and do some exploring. I wanna show you guys some of the um, you know cool terrain and, and the different uh, stuff from Biomes of Plenty. Cause as I said in a couple episodes ago, uh, whoa, there's a skelly there. Biomes of Plenty, ah, uh, is to me, sort of like the unsung hero um, of this mod pack. It's It really kind of makes, um, it really kind of completes this, uh, the mod pack in a way. Um, Okay, so what I want to do, because uh, I've got so many things, I don't, I don't know even where to begin. Um, you know, I would love to get some salt ore, and I would love to find some structures. Let's try tossing this thing. Let's see what happens if I throw this, because I don't know how this works. So here we go. Let's right click. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> I was pressing Q. I don't know what this does. On the website, it said, whoa, something died over here. I didn't kill anything. That must be from the last time someone was here. Interesting. Um, on the website, it says something like it points you to the direction of structures or something like that. Um, there was oh, there was a structure I wanted to loot though. Where was that? Over here, there is a witch circle, um, and in these witch circles, there are little dispensers with stuff inside. Whoa, what kind of tree is this? Hop seed. Hop seed? What is this? I've never found this before. I'm taking this. I've never found a hop seed. Give me a sapling. Yeah, plenty of saplings. Look at that. That's a cool little tree. There's like a flat little guy. That's pretty neat. See, that's what's fun about exploring. 
Um, I know a lot of guys have done like live streams. I'm not a huge fan of live streaming. Um, and for live streams, they go out and explore and stuff like that. I was like, nah, you know what? I want to give the Swifters a fun episode where we go out and we and we do exploring um, on normal camera, um, on a normal YouTube episode. Okay, here, let's kill this guy. Oh, another creeper heart! Yes, 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 yes. Oh, here's another guy right here. All right. Oh, also, I, I don't think I've ever talked about this. When wearing witches' robes, creepers ignore you because you craft it with a creeper heart. Um, I don't need that creeper head, but I'll just leave it. Um, so that's why they, they aren't coming at me. It's because uh, they ignore me. If you have necromancy robes, the undead will generally ignore you, um, which is really freaking cool. So uh, I, I, there's, there's more addition because I've seen comments even still people saying, "Why are you wearing leather armor?" One, I'm playing the witchery mod. That's just it, it, the witchery mod is my favorite thing. And two, you get little added bonuses like that. Like if I was ever in an environment to sit in AFK or something, and I'm not gonna get exploded by a creeper. Creepers generally ignore you. Um, I haven't found any where they uh, don't ignore me and they come at me, but the website says they generally ignore you, um, which makes it sound like sometimes they will ignore you and sometimes they won't. Um, but I like it because you get the little added effect of creepers just leaving you alone, man. Stuff isn't gonna get blown up. Okay, yeah, the circle's down here. Here's the witch circle down here. Um, oh, another thing I could really use. These poison ivy, or uh, poison plants? Yeah, poison ivy. These um, scared the, the living daylights out of me when I was first exploring uh, because I didn't know what they were. Later found out, because uh, I remember there was an earlier episode where I was like walking through the forest and I was like, what is poisoning me? Um, there's a bow right here. Who has been here? That's a decent, that's a decent bow too. Um, like in terms of durability. Normally ones you kill from skeletons are really, really low and crappy. Um, these clover patches are kind of cool too. Fun for building, maybe. Um, but yeah, I, there was an earlier episode in the series where I was like, what is poisoning me? What is going on? And um, look, took a look at some comments. You guys had said that it was poison ivy. And then, of course, when I moved to the ominous woods, poison ivy, uh, they really stick out there. Uh, in these forests, they don't stick out as easily because, uh, what do we got? Aluminum gravel. Uh, they don't stick out as easily because it's, you know, green on green. In the ominous woods, it's like, um, it's, you know, that dark, the grass is very dark looking. Somebody looted this already. Okay. So someone has been exploring out this way. I don't know how much luck we're going to have with stuff, but we'll give it a shot. Um, so, so yeah, anyways, um, that was, uh, <laughs> that was that. Now, inventory is getting a bit full, so what we'll do is take the old strong box here um, and just start tossing stuff in here like this. But I like collecting these because I like putting them also in my, um, uh, I like putting them in my, um, around my house, uh, makes for some nice uh, evil, it, make, it looks it looks very evil, and makes for some very evil looking traps too, uh, or not, not traps, but just evil terrain. One thing I wanna explore at some point, I know um, B-dubs did some work with them, but I don't know what the purpose of them is. Are these colored trees right here? These are blue stained leaves from Project Red Exploration. I don't know what the use of them is, other than possibly just looking really cool. Um, did I get a sapling from that? I don't think that I did. Maybe I have to chop them up. Um, with the, uh, shears or something. Oh, no, there, there, there's a sapling. So, there, Project Red is a huge mod. Um, it's got so many different sides to it. There's, like, Project Red Integration, Project Red Illumination, Project Red Transport, um, uh, Project Red Exploration, as you can see here. Uh, there's a ton of different you know, sides to uh, Project Red, which is kind of interesting. And I don't know what these trees do, but they're kind of cool looking. Um, like these purple ones might look really cool around my base, actually. So let's go ahead. I guess, I guess the uh, leaf decay on these guys doesn't really work as well as the other trees. Interesting. At least I can grab a purple sapling, though. The good news is, the Project Red mod 
um, is being worked on, which is awesome. If it wasn't being worked on, then we would be like, oh no, like, you know, all these, like, these annoying bugs and stuff. I didn't get a single purple sapling from that, did I? Oh, we did! Good, 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 good. Yes. Um, and so it is being worked on, which is great news because, um, means we get updates. And updates are really, really fun. Now this biome, this is the Origin Valley. Does this remind you guys of anything? This reminds me of vanilla Minecraft. Um, very, very basic. Lots of just oak trees and the color of the grass is kind of cool. And look at here, we have a witch's circle with probably some witches about to spawn. <laughs> I knew you guys were gonna come in here and mess up my day. Of course, of course. Can we? Let's kill some. See if I can get another witch's hand or something. Oh, a potion. Sweet. All right, what we got in here? Ah. Oh, a piggy bank. Oh gosh, they're spawning in. Okay, hold on. I gotta empty out some of this stuff here. Um, let's free up some space. So sugar. Let's do this. We got a single net safari. Uh, instant potion, instant health, some bottles, some bread, oak wood there. Oh goodness. Let's go ahead and kill you. Did you drop sticks? Okay, let me grab the rest of this. There's a piggy bank in here, which they don't do a whole lot. Wow, I just spit on my keyboard. <laughs> Dang it. Um, piggy banks are interesting. I'm not like 100% sure what they do. Oh, that's mine. Um, oh boy, all right, so where do I wanna go from here? Because these biomes are fun, but they're not like super interesting. Um, I think I'd like to fly down south a little bit. Let me get my broom, because the broom is is the way to travel. I gotta figure out how to use that um, that golden eye though. That's for sure. Okay, let me go and place this, place it down. Is this broom wanna, there we go. Get on going. All right. Um, all right, the flight of the bat continues. So let's head, let's head this way. <clears throat> There's some land down here I wanted to explore. There's a silky grove or something I think it's called. Um, really, really good for gathering like um, string. Um, which, oh, actually, you know what? I do need a bunch of string. I don't have that much string. I don't. Um, that's one thing I think that I don't really have a whole lot of. There is a silky, uh, a silky grove like up north of my base. It's huge right here. This is massive. This is the silk, silk groves or whatever. Uh, I think is what it's called. But since we're already going down this way, heading south, we'll just go explore those, uh, that one instead, and I can get some more string from that. That'll be that'll be a nice, um, a nice addition. And I don't know if I'm gonna look for the salt today. Um, I might do a live stream at some point where I. I really just do more of this exploration because you know, I can only do so much in like 30 minutes or however long this episode is go probably going to be. Um, whoa, what was that on the map? Uh, I gotta be very careful over this lava. I don't wanna dismount and have my broom go in there and then just completely burn up. Uh, okay, here we go. Here's, what is this? This is Jade Cliffs. All right, let's go ahead and dismount. And there you hear the creaking of the bark growing back. So give me that broom back. Um, oh, it's dark, which stinks. But the silk is over here. The silky Groves, I think it's called. Silk Glades, that's what it's called, Silk Glades. Um, boy, my mind is all over the place. Oh yeah, so the salt, I'm uh, probably not gonna get a chance to to do that today. Um, boy, this is slow because of the mining fatigue with my dang sword. Oh, if I sit on the ground, it's faster, of course. Um, but, you know, maybe I'll do a live stream at some point, um, really show you guys more of the biomes that are here. Um, there's a large, large variety, a large variety. And uh, Biomes of Plenty, you know, says that it's uh, got, you know, I don't even know how, how many, like the number of biomes that it has. It's outrageous. Um, and I know that they count, you know, even more specific biomes. Like, even in my biome, it'll say ominous woods. And then there's another section of my biome that looks the exact same, but it's called thick ominous woods. And so those technically count as two different biomes, you know, 
if you're if you're the mod creator and you're 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 counting, uh, say oh, we got like over a hundred biomes or something like that, um, because they're different. Obviously, something something is making that thick ominous woods versus just normal ominous woods. You get catch my drift. Uh, <laughs> so, anyways, I don't know how many there are, but there are tons. Um, one really cool biome that's sort of close to here actually is. A biome I think the B-dubs is going to be moving to at some point. It's called the Sacred Springs, I think. Um, let me look on the map here. Uh, yeah, it's right here for me. My closest one is right here. Sacred Springs. Um, pretty majestic. Uh, 46 string, cool. I'm just going to continue to move on from that. I don't want to spend too much time here. This place isn't too exciting other than the fact that you can get um, easy string from it, which is nice, but these canyons and stuff look really beautiful and I really love like these, you know, these rivers that flow through everything. Um, there's a little area ungenerated over here that I haven't hit yet. I like sort of sometimes just like filling in holes in my map or whatever. Um, let's also take a look also and see if there's any more witches circles. Those seem to be the, f the easiest little structures to, to sort of find like right off the bat. Um, I don't see any straight away here these islands by the way are for tinker's construct you can get slime balls and stuff like that uh trying to take a look let's just head south through here and see what we find um this episode didn't turn out 100 percent how i wanted it oh these biomes are cool these <laughs> are icy hills and sometimes you'll find Blizz. Blizz is a mob uh, generated from thermal expansion, and um, they drop Blizz rods, which from there you can make the cryoethium, a uh, gelid cryoethium or something, which is super. It's like a super cold liquid, super cold. And these snow golems spawn in here too, which is which is really cool. I'm gonna try and find one because they look really awesome. Um, let's see, they're like, they're basically icy blazes, is what they are. Um, I've killed them before. If I don't find one, I'll show you guys. They look like this on the, um, the morph list. Uh, where are they? Where are they? Right here. This is a blizz, right there. Um, so I'm gonna fly around, hopefully we'll find one here. And, oh, there's a house right here. Cool. Let's see if there's any loot inside here. Uh, not much. Root sapling and bread. Okay. Uh, yeah, exploring is really fun. I know Corrales loves to explore. Um, I know he like most of his live streams that I've watched. He just goes out and uh, and goes exploring, which is awesome. It's re it's it's really fun to watch. I hope that you guys are enjoying this episode because I'm having a blast. Well, you know, we didn't find any like massive structures or anything. I really want to show you guys a blizz because I haven't, I haven't really talked about those at all, despite the fact that I've killed a few. I think they spawn here. There's a couple different icy biomes. These ice trees just look really, really sweet looking. Um, they're really easy to see though. If I find one, you'll know it right away. You'll see this really like bluish glow. Um, they really do stick out. So let's see if. There are any over here in this little section and oh the funny thing too is also like the um the snow golems uh oh i thought i saw an experience orb over here the snow golems will they'll chuck snowballs at them they'll uh start throwing snowballs at the guys which is kind of hilarious um hmm if i get on the ground or something or closer to the ground because now i can travel faster with flying uh dang it i don't think we're gonna find any today Rats! This kind of stuff always happens to me. When your recording software is on, your game doesn't do what it wants to do. When you flip it off, uh, when you turn it off, it's uh, things start happening. And you're like, well dang it, I should be recording that. Uh, like yesterday, yesterday's episode, I didn't get a single demon heart until the very end of the episode. And then once I was done recording, I got like two more right after that. I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> this is a joke. Um, so yeah, I don't think we're gonna see a blizz today, which is unfortunate, because I could use a couple more blizz rods. Um, well, bummer, man. 
Uh, okay, let's keep moving on. Oh, look at this spine. Oh, we have a witch circle over here too. I see a witch circle on the mini map. This biome wherever right now is the wasteland. This is a, a biome that was uh, the same one as like was right near my original house. The the lair, underground lair. Let's see if this has been. Get out of here. Woo. Yep, you're gonna poison your friend right there. <laughs> Good job. Um, so we have a stencil from Open Blocks mod. Haven't done anything with that yet, with the, the stencil part of it. Um, gonna have to get into that a little bit. This is the same biome that Corrales lives in. Same type, he doesn't live here, but it's the same type of biome. These are lavender fields, and these are awesome. Um, very, very beautiful looking. You've got these cool little lavender flowers and stuff um, that just, I think, make this biome look very peaceful and very, um, very it's just very pretty. It's very pretty. Uh, welcome back. Uh, let's see. Gonna keep going here for a couple more minutes. Episode might be a little bit longer than normal, just because I'm having a good time here and I don't want to stop exploring. The thing about exploring that can really drag an episode on, if you guys want to know, is you're always like, ah, oh, if I just fly a little bit farther, maybe I'll find something truly amazing. And it's really hard to stop when that is happening, <laughs> when you're, when you're doing that. It's really hard to stop. One thing I am kind of tempted to do though, because I did mention at the beginning of the video, let's let's try and find some salt. I mean, why not? Let's try and find some freaking salt. Um, let's go ahead. At the end of this episode, we're gonna try and find some salt because I really need some. Um, there's some items that I can't make yet because I don't have any salt uh, for Food Plus, and I, I just want to get it. All right, I want to get some freaking salt, and I think. It's at the bottom of the ocean or something like that. So, take a deep dive, sploosh. Um, all right, for this, uh, <laughs> nice. Um, I gotta work on my shop. Might do that next episode as well. I know I keep talking about how I'm gonna be doing the Quidditch. I don't know where to start. I just don't know where to start. Let's go to Squid. I probably should have brought some uh, Brew of the Depths. That would have been helpful, but, um, yeah, man, I don't know. This is gonna be hard to see. Thankfully, I have a respiration hat on, which is making things easier to see down down below uh, the surface. But we're gonna look for some salt here real fast. So we got clay. Oh, what's this? Iron ore, lead ore, dang it. Silver ore, shoot. Uh, it is going to look like salt. Uh, this. It will look like that if we find it. And if we find it, I'm going to freak out. Uh, come on, little squid. Descend. Go down. Tin or berry bush. Okay. My mind has literally been all over the place today. Permafrost. Wow, I'm surprised it's not freezing everything. Um, has literally been all over the place this episode, and I do apologize. Uh, the ADHD is strong with this one, that's for sure. Man, what biome am I in? Ocean. Okay, you'd think in an ocean biome, it would be somewhat frequent. Unless it really only spawns in in like a deep ocean. Oh, there's a spider down there. Oh, I bet that's a abandoned mine shop. Not gonna worry about it. Let's say maybe there's a dungeon. Maybe not. I, I don't know. I don't want to deal with poison spiders right now. Yeah, I just hear one. Um, if anybody's got any tips for the salt ore, that would be amazing. Could really use some tips. Because I really want to... Uh, Really want to find it. I want to show you guys here too. The salt uh, can be used to make stew, uh, broth, salt blocks, beef pie, sandwich bread. Because I want to make some sandwiches, dang it. Kebabs. Um, and then like the sandwiches, you know, yeah, sandwich. You can use to make sandwich, but you need the sandwich bread first. Which means you need the salt ore. Which I haven't found any. Um, so yeah, okay, yeah, I, I remember what I was talking about. Quidditch. Uh, 
So Quidditch, I don't, I don't know where to start. I should probably start building an arena, but I know that just doing one episode of just building might be, might be a little boring. Uh, that's silver ore, okay. Uh, might be a little bit boring or whatever. Um, so I'm not sure if you guys want me to build that on camera or off camera. Um, but I don't know. I, I, I also need to, uh, I have a really cool idea. I think you guys are going to totally dig for my shop in town for B team realty. Um, that's going to be a lot of fun and, uh, I'm going to get working on that soon as well. A lot of projects coming up, a lot of projects in the works here, which is nice, but I think I'm going to go. This episode was getting a little bit lengthy. Um, so I'm going to go, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm going to continue looking for salt ore. Hopefully I find some. If not, I'm going to go home in tears again. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you guys again next time. Peace.